talking about. A 70% uh, is the kind of business that Divi's does from this particular unit, uh, out of which 20 to 25% is what caters to the US market. How big a dampener could uh, this be? And like Dashan is highlighting, it could well be a waiting period of one to two years when US FDA actually does, you know, give them a green signal for this particular unit. Yeah, <clears throat> good morning. See, uh, if you, uh, the fine prints of import alert has to still come. But uh, what I read from the import alert is that uh, some of the APIs from that unit has still been allowed to be imported in U.S. And that's what precisely we discussed at ET now, that naproxen and one more API is an API where the, there'll be shortage if these imports are uh, executed by FDA. So Big Pharma may have worked with the FDA in terms of uh, risk assessment, and naproxen possibly looks like to be uh, exported from that facility. However, uh, if I may use the word uh, disruption, see, Davies Laboratory and Hetero Lab were inspected by the same group of inspectors. And they had thrown up the observations which we covered in ONET that they were first of its kind in Indian Pharma. So if this, imp and we expected import alert at Davies facilities, uh, that will happen at Hetero's as well. Now, based on these observations, if the import alert has come, that has that must give severs to all API big pharma companies who are into API business in US, because as I told you that import alert uh, Dasan is been telling it will be one or two years where the supplies will be resumed, and uh, before that there will be a reinspection. Let me tell you from my experience that the observations that DV got as a 483, which now got converted into import alert, they were observations purely related to quality control and data integrity. If you read through from the quality and compliance perspective, it appears that the company did not have any system at all and how they were doing the U.S. business. So the next inspection that will happen at DVs will be a QA pers based on a QA perspective, and that will open further deficiency at DVs if DV doesn't take care of that within time. So it's a very sad news. Uh, DVs, as, as we all had the impression that the bluest of the blue chip, uh, but um, I always, based on the observations, thought that they, were, they qualify for the import alert. Uh, yes, Amit, uh, the, this is Darshan here. You, when, when we had discussed the Form 483, you had clearly mentioned that these observations look extremely serious and there is a high chance of a warning letter and import alert. Now this has come out. Uh, uh, why, why have some products been allowed to be shipped out of uh, uh, DV's lab? Is this a temporary thing that can happen and after some time they can actually reverse this or will this go on for a while? See, I tell you, the uh, based uh, how does it happen now? Once they, the DVs will receive the import alert later, so naturally, other than the naproxen and one, two more APIs, they will be stopped. See, first of all, uh, one thing is very clear that all new DMFs will be stopped for review, and no, DM, no, no DMFs will be uh, accepted from that facility, A. Now, uh, the next step will be getting a warning letter. That's the third step, because once DVs will respond to this import alert, there, there's a warning letter already typed, FD will send them a warning letter. Now, possibly after the warning letter, naproxen will be also stopped. The, 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 to answer your question, what happens is if you see the observations, they are mostly related to data integrity. And FDA would have gone into the records and looked, saw that probably this data integrity may not have touched the naproxen data that may have been acquired for years. So based on the risk assessment, you know, FDA, as it has been always maintaining, this is a very practical body. They, have, they have, must have accessed the risk. The whatever data would have been hidden or whatever have been destroyed, they would have thought that probably naproxen, uh, it will not affect the quality and efficacy of uh, naproxen. And that's why FDA takes the decision. I mean, if you look at Wokhard, Wokhard still supplies an alpil maliate as an ANDA despite being, uh, had, a, had a warning letter from all the six facilities now. So this is how FDA works. But after the warning letter, looks like the, uh, the naproxen things also will stop. The most important thing and setback is no new filing from, from this facility. All drug master files that must be in the midway for uh, review, that must have stopped. So that is going to be a huge setback for DBs. Amit, thanks much for really analyzing what these observations by the USFD really mean for DV's unit. Sure enough, uh, we could see some huge cracks coming in on DV's when it opens for trade. Uh, that, of course, is the view coming in from Celogen Life Science. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash etnow and don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at etnowlive. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com slash user slash etnow.